on the uncertain earth again as you said it's ashwapati's yoga which gives the certainty and yeah. there are lines in canto 5 of book 1 uh, of the everything is uncertain on earth yeah. in this uh, yeah. sentence okay uh, so i guess you are linking it to that also no. in that sense no. okay sir no incertitude transient he saw the doubt doubtfulness of all things yes. here the uncertainty incertitude of man's proud confident thought the transience of the achievements of his force yes, the uncertainty of everything is there basically now now uh, this is uh, uh, an uncertainty incertitude doubtfulness transience yes sir uh, they are belonging to operational details right sir operational details is it whereas the uncertainty of earth is at the fundamental level right sir see uh, uh, i mean uh, we are governed by uh, uh, ignorance and therefore uh, uh, and uh, the only instrument which i got the best instrument which i got is mind right sir. and uh, mind cannot bring anything to definiteness to mind. certitude regarding mind sir in a way exposing the mind mm. there is this very interesting phrase sentences which uh, actually uh, in book 6 uh, or uh, in sorry canto 6 of book 7 okay in the nirvana. canto of nirvana yeah there uh, this force which comes sweeping in this darkness yeah yeah uh, that force uh, yeah. tells something about yeah. uh, mind yes. which says it sees uh, yeah. its yes. falsity in its yeah. own mirror yeah yeah that's what uh, yeah. mind does yeah. well actually this is this is the uh, uh, mind as the process of evolution Right, what right, he is talking here in this right, context sir. here see for instance you have very clearly here no uh, the doubtfulness of all things here yes, the incertitude of man's proud confident right, thought yes, so the whole link is with man's thought right sir mind right sir in that sense here the the context is that as actually right, uh, whereas uh, the, the, it it is the f- nature of the mental being right sir what you described here transience incertitude doubtfulness that is the nature of the uh, mental being right, basically sir. whereas in the other case It's the earth itself uncertain earth right, this sir. is at the most fundamental level here first he met on the uncertain earth which means the being of earth is also itself in uh, danger of being dissolved this is what it means yeah i mean the entire creation can disappear in the uh, in the earth number of attempts were made earlier to bring out the values of the spirit upon earth in the mortal world right sir there were uh, six creations earlier ours is the seventh creation right sir mother says seven was the says that uh, there were six pralayas the dissolution of the creation all together you see in the agenda she has uh, spoken yes, of sir. it in uh, considerable yes, detail about it thing yes, so uh, why the, the creations were dissolved right sir there was the uncertainty right sir at the creational level whereas the other case it is the mental way in, in fact this is the yoga of the individual ashapati is here it is the cosmic yoga which is being sort of uh, indicated Uh, you know, in this particular right. phrase, so this I will not link up uh, uh, with this part. Really, yes. you see. Now, the, when he says uncertain earth, it means that all right, attempts were made earlier, but there was no fulfillment, there was no success, and uh, uh, what is the chance now that Savitri will succeed? Will it lead to uh, another pralaya if she fails? Right, that is what it amounts to. Right, sir. So uh, here, in this particular instance, if there has to be hundred percent certitude of Savitri fulfilling her mission, then it is necessary that the full occult base is first formed in its completeness, in its uh, in its full strength, and the occult base is provided by the tapasya of Ashwapati. in fact that is the entire foundation on which the work of savitri is based 
and it is that foundation which will not allow any further dissolution of things. So, in a way, that will uh, it is that thing which which will be the foundation for certainty on for us. Yes, yes. That now things must happen if the divine life is a thing which must uh, which is in the scheme of things. Then, if that has to happen, there has to be a spiritual foundation and awful base that no hostile power, no powers arising from the nothingness, from the void, would swallow it up. Right, if it is going to swallow it up, then uh, uh, it's useless again, you see. Yes, sir, it's, it does not uh, uh, work so out the full purpose. In fact, therefore, you can even say that Ashwapati's tapasya uh, is extremely crucial from the point of view of this work. Right. From the, uh, without that tapasya, even if Satyavan and Savitri meet and get together, there is no guarantee that their love will conquer death. Right, sir. You see, I would, I would even go to that extent. Right. So, that. let's say in the equation of Satyavan and Savitri, yeah. previously Ashwapati was not there. And that's no, no, okay, right. Yeah. And uh, that's why they couldn't succeed the previous times. No, no, it's not that uh, Ashwapati was not there and Satyavan and Savitri uh, they always fell in love and then uh, nothing happened. It's not right. that way. It's just see. a way of saying, mm. yeah, you can say that way, but it is not that way. See, it only means that gradually this Ashwapati's tapasya, which is described here, right, sir in about um, uh, 10,000 lines in Savitri. Is the tapasya not done in one particular avataric appearance of his. Right, sir. That he has come from year 1900 and he withdrew in 2000. So in that particular year right, sir. that this happened. You see. It is not that way. It has been a long drawn process. It has been going on since the creation. I have been there right from the birth of the earth, carrying on evolution. He was asked, where were you? Carrying on the evolution. So the entire evolutionary tapasya which he was doing through ages and ages and ages, it is that now which has gathered up full strength, full power, full capability to take things forward. In other words, he was coming and repeatedly coming and doing that sort of a thing to build up gradually the base. So it is not that in a particular span of 30 or 40 years that this is all done. It is the accumulated result of all his tapasya during all his appearances. The mother says, since the beginning of the earth, whenever and wherever there was a possibility or the manifestation of a ray of light, I was there since the beginning. What was she doing? Why she did not do all these things then? Because things had to mature up. The collective consciousness had to be built up to a certain point. Certain point. He was not doing tapasya for himself. Mother was coming here not for herself, but to raise the entire creation to a certain point. And therefore, now, the, in fact, the whole story of Savitri is the entire summary, summarization of all the spiritual efforts, the occult efforts which have been put through long, long, long ages. And it is that now which is sort of getting presented here. In that sense, I would say it is a symbol. Right. It looks like a narrative put in this particular frame. It is a symbol in that sense. But it is an entire spiritual history of the earth which is presented uh, in Savitri. So uh, the uncertain earth has all that connotation that now things are ready, they are formed up. The basis. So let's say, sir, for certainty, uh, one would say it is the particular when you say that things are matured up and yeah. all that. So that maturing up's final, uh, let's say, the final signal mm. that things have matured up mm. would be the agreement or the boon by the Divine Mother of taking birth on earth. Mm. Would that be the case, you would say? That 
it is only after that yeah that savitri and satyavan can be sure that things have been prepared uh, to the extent that no the, the born by the divine mother is a seal of the supreme and the tapasya of ashapati right sir but that also then is a, a signal that now things have matured up to the extent that she comes yeah this that, that yes. now that yeah. thing will not happen the no, resolution exactly. will not happen that's right yeah. so that is the single event yes which has uh, determined this uh, yes. certainty that's right yes. so yes. the difference between uncertain and absolutely certain absolutely true yes. so that certainty has been determined by her boon so that means sir it is the canto 4 of book 3 yeah. is the difference between certainty and uncertainty yeah so that is settled by canto 4 of book 3 yes sir this issue is said but in order to come to that point you have your entire tapasya of ashapati behind it right sir behind right, it the entire tapasya of ashapati is there he right, is sir. coming here taking the human birth from time to time or whatever on the college and then first he finds his soul his His spirit is free of nature and all that. Twenty-one so phases of his. Uh, uh, so the basically, in other words, that whole tapasya would consist of three parts. One is the individual, the cosmic, the book of the travel rivers, which is cosmic, and the transcendent, and the transcendent book three of Sabitri, part right. one. Right. So the, it is the transcendent. All those things are now getting settled. When the boon is coming from the transcendental plane, and when Ashwapati has created the entire solid base, then you have this certainty. Right, sir. So certainty. that particular it, it resolves itself into that yes, particular yeah, yeah, event, sir. Yeah. In other words, I mean, uh, from the point of view of a simple plain narrative. Yeah, it was not necessary to spend <laughs> or devote ten uh, thousand lines to Ashwapati's tapasya. Right, the relevance of that whole description narrative is that to bring the certainty for the meeting of Satyavan and Savitri, so that now he is forming the background, and they are now going to carry the work forward. You see, to work that out now and yes, the uh, yeah. outward. Yeah. Uh, Because see, ultimately, if that uh, all right, you have got great. Uh, spiritual realizations. You have got great siddhis are there. You have invoked the power. The power has come down and all that. Thing. Ultimately, what has to happen here? It is the power of love, sweetness, joy, beauty that had to manifest before that. Uh, and therefore, as a foundation, uh, uh, the the many twelve uh, thousand lines of Savitri are connected with the, the work of Savitri. You see. from that angle is essential so i will say that uh, the, the, the uncertain this uncertainty in a certain sense is really linked up with the precarious conditions which were there earlier right sir yeah. so but here first she met on the uncertain earth huh. so uh, now when it says here first she met on the uncertain earth yeah Now this line is also referring to the previous times which they yes. met. Yes, yes, of course. They met. It's not that they are meeting for the first time. She recognizes they have been meeting earlier also. Right. She sir. says also, no, earlier. Right. Sir. Later so, on. But this is only to refer that they have been meeting. Yes. Uh, yeah. A yeah. lot of times, yeah. but things are yeah. not much. So you have to see by reading this thing, there is a double uh, uh, connection always throughout uh, the narrative of the current time, plus the upper background of the preparations which are there all along. You see. So that that uh, these uh, both the threads run simultaneously. In fact, that is what the symbol uh, is, right, see, in a certain sense. You see, right, it is that. You see, here first she met on the uncertain earth, the one for whom her heart had come so far. You see, now the so far has again the same double meaning. Right, sir. Double meaning. Uh, in the geolo- in the geographical sense, she is coming from Madra to Shalwa. <laughs> right, sir. In, in the immediate context, right, you see, in the immediate context. So far, through long, long, long ages of time, since the beginning of the earth till this point. Right, sir. So far has both 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 the senses in it, you see. Right, sir. So it it is a meeting both in space and time so far. Now, of course, we have got the description of uh, uh, Satyavan as a youth, 
bright, glorious, shining, the weapon of light. He says, no, here, uh, he, he, see now, you see the description of the canto stands with Savitri. Right, sir. And then suddenly it switches to Satyavan. As might a soul on nature's background limb stand out for a moment in a house of dreams. She is dreaming there because she has a he has a human veil around her. And it is through that human veil she is seeing things, you see. He was created by the ardent breath of life. So he appeared. Now this he has remained here until now. Unnamed. Right, sir. The only reference to this he is love. Right, sir. Love met her, no? Yes, All the previous kind. Love yes, met Savitri. Yes, sir. Love in the wilderness met Savitri. Yeah, yeah. Then, that he refers directly. Until now, there is no reference at all. To, uh, uh, until now, the whole description of Savitri is he. There is no he in the. Uh, insect picks green relief and golden ray. So he is like, like an insect, you see. <laughs> now, he is described. Now, that he is being described over a few sentences. Yes, sir. Who is Satyavan, how he is, and all that kind of thing. There also, uh, see, there, there are indicative phrases also, you see. He is a weapon of the living light. Weapon of the living light. Now, weapon means he is there to destroy darkness. He is a spear of God. He is and Savitri would be dead to destroy. Yeah, exactly. Noble and clear, the broad, peaceful heaven, freedom, joy of life was on his open face. So it is not just the glow, the youth, which Savitri is seeing, but it also means the entire joy of life is there on his face. And that joy is going to be shadowed by death. Right, you see, I mean the indications are there. His look was a wide daybreak of the gods. Yes, sir. His head was youthful and rishis. So already the spiritual quality or the youth is uh, present here. You see, we, we discussed this yesterday, sir. Daybreak of the gods yeah. is uh, referred for Satyavan. Yeah. And we have parable of dawn for uh, Savitri. Savitri, that's right. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 